Uh, we've talked about impeachment before, and you thought it was justified. We now have the Mueller report, though. Uh, do you think that basically within the four corners of the Mueller report itself is enough to impeach and convict, importantly convict, not just impeach, the president? I absolutely do, David. I think if you read the 448-page Mueller report, which I wouldn't wish on my best friend, uh, you see that he clearly gives you 10 instances where the president committed obstruction of justice. And he says, I can't, it's Justice Department policy not to indict a sitting president. And so I'm not going to do that. But if you read it, which I did, it is absolutely clear that this president has met the criteria for impeachment. Uh, do you think the Democrats made a mistake in responding to the Mueller report? Because given what you just said, that's, that's without seeing the grand jury testimony or some of the secrets that were having anyone testify in front of them. Did they make a mistake by saying we need all that other material because that implied that they didn't have enough within the Mueller report itself? Well, I've said for a long time, David, that there's been enough information in public to have impeachment proceedings. And what that would mean, and which I think is an absolute critical part of this, is to have televised hearings where people come up and describe what this president and this administration have done. Because in my opinion, we are all about putting it in the hands of the American people, letting them see what's happened. Because what we see when we talk to them is they always are appalled at how much of a liar and a cheat this president is. And they always relate it to their own circumstances and say, my goodness gracious, if I did that, I'd be in jail or I'd be court-martialed or I'd lose my job as a public school teacher. They internalize it and they understand how bad his behavior really has been. So, so Tom, uh, there's a lot of sentiment for moving forward in the House of Representatives, but do you believe that there are votes to convict in the Senate? Because ultimately, he stays in office unless the Senate convicts, and there don't, don't appear to be the votes in the Senate to convict. Well, David, I think that people love to look at this as an inside the beltway Washington, D.C. proceeding. And on its face, it is. But our whole point is about a broader democracy and including the American people. Because we believe, after Americans have seen through televised hearings, which is how we take in our information, that they will absolutely demand from their elected representatives, whether they're Democrats or Republicans, that they do the right thing. And that really, our point is, this is a question for the American people. That's why we've been pushing as hard as possible for these televised hearings, because that's who we think the correct power in the country is, is the people. We think that's the moral center of this country, and that's what we count on.